Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Field. This is our top of the line room resolution. This is our 90% or higher room resolution. Mastering level mixing, reference listening, 15, 20 years experience of listening. This is a room where all 90% of issues are resolved and only 10% remaining. Most of those will be in the low frequency area, but they'll be down in that 20, 30 cycle range, which a lot of uh, formats don't even reproduce. So it's a big, big jump in resolution. ACDA 10s and 12s front and the sidewall, some combination of both, because they both have different frequency responses. So depending on what you've go got going on in your room in terms of usage and dimensions, we'll prescribe some combination of those two surface areas. Rear wall diffusion, absorption with the QDA series. Our QDA is the top of the line product. It has the ACDA 10, absorption built into the diffuser section and the base is the ACDA 12 technology so you get both frequency ranges in the same product so with the ACDA 10s on the front and the side walls and the QDAs on the rear wall you've got a room that's completely wrapped in absorption and diffusion for the four walls big big start to resolving the issues how many units and all that we have to calculate it's going to be obviously based on the diameters or the uh, dimensions in your room. Floor to ceiling pressure, always a big problem. The floor to ceiling dimension is the shortest of the three, so it produces a lot of low frequency issues. We'll manage those with the DAW platform. How big the platform will be, how many square feet we need, we'll have to calculate. It's going to be somewhere between 64 and 100 square feet right in there. That's what most of these platforms run. They're modular, so we can add to them. Floor to ceiling reflections are going to be managed with our foam technology. The beautiful thing about our foam and carbon is that the rates and levels work well together. That's the goal. And you can see here in the ACDA12 performance chart, and you can see this in our foam uh, performance chart. Notice the smoothness, the linearity in performance. There's no suck outs or peaks or dips you know these these companies that produce products that have huge peaks and dips in performance why would you use something like that to treat a room when your goal is resolution why would you treat the room with a product that can't perform in certain octave bands isn't the goal of resolution by definition to eliminate those issues well how can you eliminate them with a technology that doesn't work in that specific area so you know more more nonsense out there in order to get this kind of resolution, it's all about square footage of coverage. What's the biggest elephant in the room when it comes to low frequency, when it comes to issues in the room? It's the low frequency. So we add the modules on top of the ACDA units, increases the amount of square footage of coverage. So the ACDA units are five foot, the modules are two foot, so you're at seven foot. So you're almost at an eight foot ceiling height, you know, building a complete room with them. Uh, work with ceiling heights. We like to see 9 to 10 is a better combination with this, but we can work with 8 foot if we have to. Plenty of colors for the fabric, textures, wood choices for the units. We can make things as pretty as you want. You know, performance has always been our objective. And uh, like I've said in past videos, making things pretty is expensive. It would be nice if we could, you know, live with just raw uh, finishes and we didn't have to paint or veneer or do anything like that but that's the way it works so as a designer i would much rather forget about finishing the product and put all the money into the performance aspect but that's me uh i don't i don't look at the product anyway i only listen to the music but everybody's a little bit different so the units are modular they can be removed or moved around within the room a lot of engineers are mixing and recording in the same room. So they like to move the products around when they're mixing, they create a little mix area. And then when they're recording live, they have the units around the instruments to manage pressure and reflections. Our ultimate goal here is a frequency response friendly environment. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to take curves that look like this and get them to look like this. That's the goal. Push on the peaks, fill in the dips, smooth out the response. 
frequency response friendly environment. That's what we're going to have to do, and that takes square footage. So this is our 90% resolution. It's the top of the line for us. It's also the, you know, the highest price point. So it's for mastering engineers that only want to work around and listeners that only want to work around 10% of the issues in the room. 90% resolution room. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.